G'day travellers and uh, welcome to another adventure. Today we're going to Kigari or uh, better known as Fraser Island. It's uh, the world's largest sand island. So stay tuned. Let's um, get this show on the road. We just left the, uh, the the boat ramp, and um, captain's given us his uh, safety message to uh, to get over to the island, and uh, it's going to take, uh, I reckon, about 30, 40 minutes. Heading over to, uh, to Fraser Island, there's um, a really important thing that you got to remember. Grab your beer. set up the tents and uh, this morning I'm having a bit of a coffee. Let's see a little espresso machine there. Yeah. Pods at the top, comes out the bottom, pump it out. Pump out the uh, little espressos. We've um, just taken the drive down to uh, Lake Birabing. There's a few signs that there's um, dingoes around, but haven't seen one yet. So we're on the hunt for a dingo because we want to see one of those um, before we go. And But, oh geez, it's just beautiful. Look at this lake, Lake Birabing. Um, fresh water. You beauty. 
Just uh, heading down to Lake Shore. Uh, we're just uh, driven up here. So this is another lake um, that we're going to show you. This is the largest lake in um, Fraser Island, we think. Um, so can't take food, can't take um, any drinks down here because uh, there are dingoes and uh, they don't want to, you know, attract any dingoes to humans. It's um, a bit of a safety risk. Yeah, the guys are already down here. We flew the drone at the last um, lake. This one will look pretty similar on the edges, but... Oh, look at this. Got a few families down here having a swim. Because it's uh, nice fresh water to take a swim in. Still haven't found a dingo yet. Our, our mission is to find a dingo. Can you see any tracks, boys, of dingo tracks? No. Huh? Let's see. Let's see. Beach. Central Station uh, Rainforest uh, Boardwalk. It's, um, it's just such a calming, relaxing area um, being in the rainforest. You've got this um, beautiful creek that's next to it, which is just uh, full of um, the most crystal clear water that you'll ever see. Just goes to show you that on um, on Kigari that uh, you, you've got rainforest, um, you've got you know obviously the beach, you've got Eli Creek, which is another like freshwater creek that um, you can ride down on the tubes and stuff like that, which is um, really um, popular with the the tourists that come here. But um, there's just so much to do and see on on Fraser that um, everywhere you go, there's there's just something else to look at. Uh, we've come down to the uh, SS Mahino. There's an ocean liner belonging to a union company of a New Zealand. Uh, it operated in the Tasman Sea, crossing between New Zealand and Australia from 1905 to 1935. Um, it was also used as a ship by the New Zealand Naval Forces during World War One, as His Majesty's New, New Zealand Hospital Ship Number no. One, which is now shipwrecked on Fraser Island. down the, uh, the famous Eli Creek. Um, so lots of people love coming here because um, there's a bit of a boardwalk that comes from the beach and it comes down and um, basically uh, uh, you come down these uh, steps from down the boardwalk. Usually you have a floaty or something. We're just walking it at the moment. Um, but uh, yeah, you, you hop in here and the water flows um, all the way back to, um, back to the beach.
All right, so here's the goanna. I don't want to go too close to him. See, I don't want to get too close to those guys because they've got a nasty bite with bacteria. And if a goanna ever comes after you, what you do is lay on the ground because what they want to do is when they're scared is climb up the tallest thing. Cool. It's just a little guy, that one. <laughs> Come down to uh, Champagne Pools, which is uh, on the northern end of the um, island um, we've driven up to. It's uh, called Champagne Pools because the waves crash over the, uh, the rocks, um, creating all the foam. Um, check it out. just come into uh, Ocean Lake. It's um, w one of the many lakes that's on uh, Kigari and um, saw sorts of things in that lake from turtles and eels, all that sort of type thing. Um, down this track here that I'm going down, apparently there's even funnel web spiders in the ground so you got to be a bit careful um, where you're walking. So uh, like let's have a look, at, I'll show you in front of me what I'm sort of walking through now. And right, right next to me is uh, it's Ocean Lake. Let's see if you can see a little bit of that there. Actually, I might head back to where the um, where the crew is. Show you what's on the uh, information board that's up there. The section up here is uh, where you can go for a bit of a dip. Kids are having a swim there now. We've got, um, got the freshwater turtles. They're the um, funnel web spiders. you got to watch out where you're walking. Pelicans. Looks like there's some type of prawn. Eels. In the back here. Skinks, all types of birds. Goannas, I've seen a couple of those. This is um, a bit of a information board about the dingoes and what you need to do that so if you bring them food along you gotta um, lock it in the, uh, the dingo safe cages and uh, don't leave your eskies about because dingoes can get into them too so dingoes um, they're a wild uh, wild dog like uh, part of the wildlife of Australia now that's why we can't uh, feed them because if you feed them um, they can stop hunting which um, you know basically will stop their cycle in the ecosystem so, so that's why you leave them well alone they're not a domestic dog but yeah we're about to um, pack up now so the worst part of the trip's come we're packing up and going home uh all good things must come to an end they say and um our boat's quite early at nine o'clock so that's why we've um had to get up quite early um, so we can pack up and uh, get going. Everyone's getting all their gear, last of their gear in the car. Alan's getting his big um, tree house all packed up. Terry's getting his swag packed away. I've already put away my tent because <laughs> it's only a little two men. Yeah.